So we're going to carve a golf ball in today's video. Just a regular Max Fly. Go ahead and cut the cover off of it. And basically all you got to do is the easiest way that I found to do it is just to kind of mark your center line there. I use a Dremel tool with a grinding disc and just go along and until you cut cut into the core. Then once you do that, I usually just take a screwdriver and stick it up underneath the cover and work it work it around until it'll pop off. Not not too difficult. Uh, seems to do the job. I'm sure there's probably other ways to do it, but just makes it makes it easier for me. So all I'm going to do is just carve a simple face in this guy. And I have one knife that I usually use for all my golf ball carvings. It's just a small, heavy detail knife. Nothing fancy about it. So the first thing I usually do is I just kind of try to line it up with, with the back of this so that we're, when it's sitting out on a desk or if you want to put it on a tee and mount it on a base, you can. Um, I'll just go ahead and mark the center here so I can establish the center of that. Go ahead and get your put my thumb guard and my glove on. This glove is typically what I use for when I'm carving golf balls um, just because it's got a little bit of these rubber grips on it and helps me keep a hold of it. Uh, my other carving glove it has a tendency to want to kind of move around a little bit on me. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I'll just show you, we've got, if you're going to have his eyes in here somewhere, you can make these guys goofy looking, silly. And then we'll just kind of mark out an area here. Several years ago I wrote a tutorial on this and it just it was in a PDF version and I think I've still got it somewhere. So if I can find it, I'll put it in the description below. And we don't know if I'll keep that facial expressions or not, but what I want to do is I want to start cutting where the bridge of this nose is. So I'm just cutting straight in at the moment. You can kind of see right there. And then what I'll do is I'll start carving back up to that. And we'll go to the other side of the nose and come back towards it. So kind of getting that eye plane established. <coughs> Excuse me. side a little bit more. So it doesn't look too bad. You kind of got an area there and then you can if you want to go in we can go in and just cut straight down and make a couple of V cuts. So then it's a little bit more pronounced at that point. making sure that it's even here. So if you look at the at the nose, you kind of see I'm off a little bit. So we want to kind of try to get that nose to the center. There we go, kind of getting the start of it. Then we can go ahead and my center points. Okay, the bottom of my nose. We can go ahead and cut in that bottom of the nose. So all I'm gonna do is just cut down, cut back up to it. Do the same thing over here, cut down, cut back up to it. Round off the bottom a little bit. And 
one of the sharp points there. But basically, I'm just going to keep cutting up to the bottom of that nose. So his nose is starting to stick out a little bit. I'm primarily going to be using nothing but a knife on this. When I do the eyes, I'll use some small little micro gouges that I have. It kind of helps a little bit. So this is where you decide what you want to do with his mouth. If you want him to have teeth that stick out, then leave this angle set. You don't have to round this off. Kind of leave them protruding out, though. That way you can get the teeth underneath. But we'll just give this guy just kind of a goofy grin. So what I'll do is I'll draw his mouth in there like that. The flares of the nostrils. And then I'll take my knife and just follow that line down just straight in then they're pretty deep and then I want to come cut back up towards the corner of this nose and remove that little triangle piece and then I want to cut back to that line Do it again over here. So I'm just following that line around. Then I'm going to cut there and back towards it. Sometimes you get a core of a golf ball that's a little, almost like it's dry and it'll flake off on you, so that's okay. We've got plenty of room. We'll clean that up in a minute. Okay, so there's both sides of the mouth. make those deep real deep in there if you choose to let's get that cleaned up a little bit there we go okay so then we need to set the top of the mouth the upper lip so we'll give him a kind of a goofy grin and same thing, I draw my line and I'm just tracing my marks with my knife, tip of my knife, okay? I'm gonna cut back up to it. off a little bit. So we've got his mouth set. And this is where if you wanted to give him teeth you could put start pushing this area here back up to where it's not doesn't stick out quite so much when you put the teeth in there. So we'll go ahead and give him some teeth. All I want to do come across here like that and cut up 
underneath that. You may have to deepen that cut a little bit. So we'll do maybe a couple of teeth. So I've got a mount line. So basically what I'm gonna do is just kind of push in there, push in there. With the golf balls, you don't, didn't have to push a whole lot. They're kind of soft and no grain to worry about, which is nice. Go ahead and cut back towards this one. side just to kind of show that separation of the two. There you go. And you can go back in there and deepen up that corner of his mouth. Make those stand out a little bit. Sorry, got a little bit off camera there. But basically all I was doing was cutting in here, just removing that triangular piece right out of there so it kind of gives a little bit of definition and makes those teeth pop out a little bit more. You can define that area some more. Just go in there quite a bit deeper. I'll probably do that over here on this side too. So now that we've got that, we can go up here and put his eyes in. And all I'm doing is just cutting back down towards the bridge of the nose to make his eye plane a little bit bigger. Okay. And then this is where you need to decide what, what uh, you want him, how you want his eyes to be. So basically what I'll do is I'll just kind of, I'll just give him some, we'll do one up, one down, close to that. So all I'm going to do for this is I'm just going to stick that knife straight in there. Straight down. Then I'm going to go back and just remove a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to see your line. Once you have that established, then you can go back, do the corners. So we've got this corner here. I'll make that a little bit deeper. We've got the upper part and then you can do the lower part as well.
So there's his eye. And then basically we'll do the same thing for this side over here. Straight in there. Straight down there. Pull that corner piece out. out go ahead and round this off right here and all I'm doing is taking those corners off so there's his eye Put his eyeball there, and eyeball there, and so that's where I use my small micro U gouge. Grab the B. I want the U. There we go. So what I'm going to use is a small dockyard tool. And basically, what I want to do is stick that in there. Get it in there nice and nice and deep. That one came out, but this guy did not. There we go. So basically, it's just a relief eye. Typically, I would paint these, um, but for what we're doing here today, I would paint the eyes in and not not do that eye that way, but. You can kind of shape that around his eyes and then give him a little bit of separation. And you can go back and give him an upper eyelid if you want. And then you can finish out his nose. Kind of round it off a little bit. Just go around it and clean it up how you how you want him to look. Then we'll grab a little bit bigger U gouge and give him some nostrils. So all I'm going to do is stick that U gouge in there like that. Kind of clean that up. Kind of an ugly looking guy, isn't he? That's right, he's a golf ball. Then you can take a find 
it here in micro V tool. Kind of give him give him some definition around the corners of his eyes. And so all I'm doing is taking that V tool and just there. So if you want to give him upper eyelids, you just take this this tool, V tool, and go up and around. Then you kind of thin those out a little bit, but I'll give him any of that. Just give him a couple of wrinkles there. Give him some wrinkles on his forehead if you want to. And that's pretty much it. And you can you can keep going on these guys and make them make them funny looking, make them ugly looking. Totally up to you. However you want them to look. Um, carve out the eyes and then paint them. I've done that in the past. Painted some, painted them flesh color. You know, made them look a little bit better than just a plain golf ball. But the other thing I'll do too is. Typically, I'll do this first as I go around the golf ball and kind of clean up the edge where I use the Dremel tool to cut the cover off. You can make a stand for them, mount them on a tee, uh, whatever you choose to do. Make keychains. I made keychains out of them. Uh, I've got one on my golf bag. Just put a little little eye hook in the top glue it in and and you're done so there you go i hope you guys enjoyed this one just a real quick video on carving the core of a golf ball um, be looking for another video hopefully i'll have another one up here about a week so until then